Welcome back to the Just Emmett Recap. If you haven't heard of Just Emmett before, we provide you with a weekly data science problem and challenge you to solve it with a nine workflow. In the recap, I'll give some of my thoughts on the problem and showcase a few of the solutions from the community on the nine form. Last week, we challenged you to do some web scraping, specifically on the finance section of Yahoo News. Now, I don't like following the news too closely, reading too many articles, watching too many hours of it on TV, because it can really stress me out. But I do want to stay on top of things, so I'm really curious to see if any of the solutions here can help me do that and get away from just some of the headline streaming, which I also don't think is the best idea. So let's look at the challenge. Recently, you became more interested in finance, and since you want to learn more about web scraping for work, you combined both interests. Using the NIME web extension, can you navigate to the economic news section on Yahoo Finance, extract the headers of only the most recent topics that pop up on the web page, and then make sense of the results visually? Remember to filter out any ads or unrelated banners, headers, content. Hint, find class tags in the XML that are unique to the content you are scraping. Okay, so the first solution I wanna highlight here is from Arif Rama. And on this workflow, I wanna show you the web interaction nodes here. So the first one is this interaction start. And really all we're doing in this one is selecting a browser, some other settings relative to that browser, but really we're just kind of deciding what kind of framework we want to web scrape in. The next one here is the navigator, and this is where we'll navigate to a web page. And then finally, in the content retriever, we'll select what we want to pull back from that web page. We can set delays, select the retrieval tag type. In this case, we're trying to pull back the headings. What we get at the output of that node then is an XML column along with the heading tag and heading text. So we've got news, life, entertainment, finance, sports, etc. So we're gonna wanna filter down to the finance ones for this exercise. Now we'll skip some of these for now and look at the other workflows, but let's check out the report. So I really like this solution because it comes with a word cloud. And if you dig into these meta nodes that come before this report, you'll see that Arif is also using some of the text mining extension. And in that he's pulling out tags um, and doing some grouping there to pull out these keywords. Uh, so I see stuff about the Fed rates, um, Silicon Valley, some names popping up, the Federal Reserve here. And I, I can see those and I can get kind of an idea of some of the topics that are popping up recently and decide if I want to go look up more information about them myself. So I really like the idea to use this word cloud. Okay, let's move on to the next workflow. The next solution here is by birdie093. So again, we start out with this web interaction node. There's some clicking here involved as well, which allows you to navigate around the web page that you start from. But ultimately, what we end up with is this XML at the end. birdie093 uses the XPath node to process some of this and extract some of the bits and pieces. And we do some row filtering, some filtering, and some string manipulation. And what we end up with is these top five heading titles. And the report that we're using at the end from this workflow has some of this animated feature of the tile view node. And this is a really cool view node, especially for dashboards that I encourage you to check out. So we've got some of these headers, their descriptions, as well as this list here with links. Perfect and easy to use. Great for sending in an email. Okay. Our third solution here is from Sriu. Sriu here does it again with the tile view. So we look at this, we have the web page retriever, we get that XML, we browse through it with XPath, and what he's really extracting here is the link when he can. After that, we go through here and we're doing some of the same things. We're extracting the header, he's also extracting the image um, from the title of the articles. And all of that is just getting placed into this tile view node. So notice that there's no component here to create a composite view, although you could definitely put this into a component if you wanted to. But this is how nice the tile view looks just by itself. We have a direct link here to the article, this long description so I can read a bit about it right away, as well as the header image. And this is kind of cool too, because I could use this to kind of combine articles from multiple different sites that I want to read to set up a dashboard for myself. All right. So with that, 
I hope you're inspired to try some of the web scraping. I certainly am, especially with that word cloud there at the end. Stay tuned for the next challenge on Just Nimit. That'll be coming out on Wednesday. And don't forget to use the hashtag Just Nimit and provide your solutions on the Nime forum. And I'll see you in the recap next week. Thank you.